Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and unfortunately Ethan isn't going to be able to make it for the update, um, so I decided to go ahead and do it by myself. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to be talking about is the Gylenor games. So uh, anyway, as you guys know, the update came out today, and uh, so anyway, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Um, I'm not going to read over the whole post because there's a lot of shit in here. Um, but anyway, I'll just cover the main points of the update, and uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy. I will be doing some in-game footage of it. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so basically, uh, the Gylenor Games is just going to be around for about four weeks, I think is what it said. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, yeah, the games will last for, uh, fuck you four weeks and uh, more it's more than enough time for you to experience all the event and earn enough to buy all the rewards um, so anyway the uh, four events that you can take part in are the head-to-head -head, which is a race with different difference you can only move forward by playing cards these cards have special abilities that will help you or hinder you look out for mad cows and oddly dressed streakers hopefully there's no nude people running around otherwise that'd be porn um, so anyway uh, next is the cheese wheel rolling and this is pretty much the like main thing that uh, they've been showing for the behind the scenes and stuff like that um, so that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, me and Ethan kind of hit upon it just a little bit. Um, but anyway, basically you just like roll a cheese wheel down a hit uh, a freaking hill, and you chase after the damn thing. And uh, you, uh, but you have to chase after it to. Okay, so yeah, and then uh, sprint after the cheese down the hill and dodge oncoming obstacles in a thrilling race to the finish line. Um, so next is the resource race. Uh, the clock is ticking as you gather as many logs, ores, and herbs as you can within the time limit. Don't forget to deposit them. And uh, finally we have the marathon. And the marathon um, I'm not going to be doing uh, just because um, it'll take way too long. And uh, so anyway, so basically what I'll be doing is I'll just be hitting up uh, the head-to-head -head the cheese wheel rolling and the resource race and then me and Ethan might do like a little challenge over the marathon uh, but then again who knows alright um, so uh, and then just touching up on the uh, XP and stuff like that uh, to reward you for your efforts as well as XP to be gained taking part in events contribute Contribution points will be awarded. These points can be traded for various items, such as three tiers of costume items, two emotes, and a title. You can also purchase XP boosting rings that will grant you more XP when you're participating in the games. Um, so I'll be trying to obtain those. Um, and then uh, let's read the little, last little bit here. Feel like ha you have the eye of the tiger shark? Well, head over to Verox and the Verox Square and speak to the delegates to pick your deity and take part. Um, so uh, anyway, um, they touched up on it a little bit, and uh, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Uh, but anyway, in other news, there is a slider to adjust the level of camera zoom found in the graphical options interface. Uh, several skills have been updated to skip the make. X interface if you only have enough in ingredients to make one item. Based on feedback, we've made made some further changes to fish flingers. And uh, so what they changed on fish flingers is, we, is they changed the requirements for metals tokens so that catching big fish and assisting others in doing so is much more rewarding. You can now hold up to 10 tokens at a time. We've changed how the scores are displayed so they more closely reflect the XP you'll earn, although the amount of XP hasn't changed. There are many more fixes and tweaks along with these changes. Take a look at the patch notes for full details. And if you want to go ahead and check that out, then uh, just come to this post and uh, click that. Alright, so I'm going to hop on over to the game. Alright guys, so I'm back in the game, and uh, so first off I'm going to teleport to Verrock. Um, forgot to do my Jack of Trades today, which I'll probably do before I go to bed. Ooh, i got to go check my tree too, that'd be nice. 
Um, but anyway, I've been doing a lot of stealing creations lately, uh, just to get those needles. And I think I'm going to end up doing it for smithing also. Um, so hopefully that'll be very, very, very helpful. And, uh, that's probably what I should have done for construction, but, uh, oh well, too late now. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, as you can see here, I am at the Verox Square. And, uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead and talk to Omid. Um... So let's see here. Let's ask him about the Guy Lenore games. What would I like to know? Um, what events are running? And uh, let's do. Uh, let's go head to head first. Um, okay, people may think head to head is a measure of person's speed, but it isn't. Uh, no, a head to head is a measure of athlete's strategic thinking, making the best of their current situation in the race, when to sprint, when to take it easy, and when to taunt their position. It's tactical as much as anything else. This is true. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's ask about the cheese wheel rolling. Um, athletes rolls a wheel of cheese down a hill and then chases after it. Why would you do that? Um, do you know I've never asked? It's a lot of fun, though, manic manic naturally and it's really hard to navigate when you're running downhill at like a billion miles an hour yeah you're not really running a billion miles an hour just to let you guys know um so anyway finally we'll do the resource race um enjoy the resource gathering skills that we decided to make a sport out of it uh put simply competitors have to collect as many resource points as possible in a five minute period um, some resources are more difficult to obtain, but are worth more points. It's, caref it's a careful balance of quantity versus variety. The more varied the resources, the more they are ultimately worth. Okay, so uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and um, let's see. Let's start off with the head-to-head -head and uh, see how this is. Um, I will earn agility XP, and that's fine with me. That's what I need. Um... So anyway, uh, complete the game as shortest number of turns possible by... Okay, so hit continue. And... Uh, let's see here. This one. And this one. Do, 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 do. Okay, so uh, anyway, if uh, you guys haven't seen this, this is a uh, taunt. Let's see taunt. And do do do. It's just like it gives you a varied number of cards, and uh, so anyway. Um, let's see super dedication. Weight of expectation. Let's do that one again. Uh oh, I'm falling behind, guys. Uh oh. Okay, so this is this is very 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 odd. Not gonna lie, I don't like this at all. Um, da, 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 da. yeah. So right now I'm just randomly clicking something, and uh, ooh, I might be able to pull ahead of him. Let's see what I can do. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, I'm, I'm almost beating her. Um. Woo! I think I just got first. Holy crap. Oh, I just got an agility level. Um, so that will not be in Friday Request Requirements with John. But, uh, anyway. Um, so, it might be, I don't know. Um, so anyway, let's return to Rock. There's that one down. Um, that's actually not very bad XP. 
I like that. Uh, Fox say they have turned it right up to 11. Okay, um, so anyway, let's do this cheese wheel. Actually, should I do the cheese wheel? Um, yeah, let's do the cheese wheel. And, uh, so anyway, let's go and hit continue. Alright, so, uh, anyway, you have a variety of options to choose here. Let's go with, uh, this one right here. I just broke my leg. Nice. And you get defense XP from this. So, uh, anyway, we'll play it again. Um, see if there's just like a actual thing that you can do here. Oh. Oh. Let's try this again. Okay, so hold on. I'm trying to figure out how you get how you would do this. Um, so anyway, like I know you can move around, but I'm not sure how you would move around though. Um, oh. Got pretty far on that one, didn't I? Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, anyway, just like start clicking and uh, hopefully you find the right path. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, uh, as you guys can see here, I'm getting some pretty good contribution points. Uh, so we'll see what I have at the end. Uh, so let, now let's do the resource race for the final one. And uh, yes, yes, I want to proceed. Okay, so blue, gold, black, green, uh, red. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do uh, green for mining, green for what else? What else can I gather? Um, green for farming. I guess that's what that is. Um, resources. They also require different skills. Um, okay, so then we'll do red for wood cutting and go, I guess. Right? One, go. Get seeds. Green. Black. Red, blue, gold. Moving on to the next one. Deposit points. What? I'm confused. Maybe you plant them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you plant them over there. Okay, well, I already fucked that one over. Okay, so uh, anyway, we'll mine, what I say, um, I think black. I guess it would help if I had like a, oh, nope, you mine it pretty fast, I guess. Um, but anyway, yeah, okay, so uh, basically, um, this, you're just trying to collect, like, they said that uh, the different amounts of resources that you can get, uh, like a wide variety is more expected than a like oh how should I put it uh, more than just like a common it's kinda like the uh, the good way to put it is like the agility thing in the circ actually it's just the circus in general like they're looking for more ver variety of stuff than they are for the um, like stuff that you do more often that gain that's like higher up like even though it is higher up uh, they like to see more of a wide variety and you earn a whole lot more XP like that than you usually would um, so anyway we'll go ahead and we'll move on after this one and uh, I'll go over here to the wood cutting one and we'll look for a red tree there it is right there there we go alright red tree and uh, Ethan just texted me and said he's not getting on tonight. So uh, 
Well then, Ethan, I guess that means that uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this by myself. So yeah, whatever you say, Jose. And uh, anyway, so we'll just chop down this tree for a little bit. And then at about a minute and a half, I'll go to the herbs. And uh, from there, I guess so we'll just wait. Okay, so I guess we'll just go ahead and move on now. Uh, let's go, 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 go. I'm just going to deposit my points right now. All right. Um, use this on this. I know I can't do the reds. Let's see if I can do the blacks. Yes, okay, so let's see if I, I know I can do the blues. And the gold. And we'll hit up one more black one. And they seem to grow pretty fast, I guess. Except for, like, the higher level ones are not growing very fast. <laughs> That's nice to know. Okay, so anyway, we'll go over here and pick this. Pick. There you go. There you go. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Alright, alright. Okay, so uh, grab them. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, kid. Come on. Fuck you, fuck you. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. We'll go ahead and start grabbing these black ones. Hopefully I can get some pretty good points. Um, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, this, is, this isn't a bad thing. I guess. Um, so anyway, next thing I'm going to be doing is I will be uh, testing out this uh, whatever you can choose your fiat or whatever. Uh, but anyway, what it basically is is like you get to it's like choosing your own fate, I guess. And uh, it seems pretty interesting um, to me. I don't know about anybody else, but uh, it'd definitely be something. To check into because you get uh, some of the most powerful weapons in the game supposedly. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, I got it just in time. There we go. All right. So uh, anyway, um, ooh, getting pretty close to those levels. Um, okay. So now we'll return to Verrock and I'll check out this fiaty thing. Um, let's see here. Do 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 do. Present humans participating in the Gallon War games. Okay, so that's not you. Um. Okay, so ooh, maybe it is. Yeah, I think there's like four different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's four different people. Okay, so uh, anyway, let's see. Let's should we do humans? No, humans. Humans looks like he's got a retarded weapon. We'll go over here to uh, this guy. Whatever his name is. He looks pretty intriguing. Um, okay, so what the fuck? Hold on. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to go look this up where you do this fiaty thing, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so uh, anyway, what you do is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm back, by the way. Um, but anyway, so you you talk to him and you ask him about the Galenor games, and then he asks you what we, what would you like to know, and uh, ask him about what are the games, and then uh, just go over here and uh, talk to any one of your characters. Um, so anyway, um, let's see who should I support. Um, let's go. Who he's King of the Elves. Or he's uh, for the elves, I guess. Uh, for the goblins, uh, for the werewolves, and then for the humans. Um, so anyway, don't want to be a goblin, just to let you guys know. Don't be a goblin. Um, I think I might honestly just go ahead and go with the werewolves, just because werewolves are awesome. Actually, no, 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 no. It goes by... Okay, so let's see. Zamorak is you. Um... 
Siren is them. Humans are the shit. Humans are for Sarah, and what's he for? Um, big high war god. Okay, so he's pretty much like bandos. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Ethan and I both like bandos. I think I'm gonna go with bandos. Uh, let's ask him who the big high war god is. Big high war god, you know, he stomp other gods in ground and likes to see things stomped. Um, okay, so actually, I'd like to start supporting the goblins. Good. Now other races will know you support the big high war god. Sweet. Okay, so uh, anyway, we will we'll, uh, see what. Oh, nope. Get out of here. Stupid Vexilium. Hate those clan Vexiliums. Um. Yeah, okay, so uh, anyway, I'm, I'm supporting the goblins for bandos, whoop, whoop, repping it for bandos. Um, but anyway, so that's how you guys do that, and uh, so anyway, me and Ethan will try to uh, do some stuff over that, and uh, hopefully we can bring you guys something pretty good. But uh, anyway, um, I guess, ooh, who is this? Who's the monkey? Ooh. You can choose the monkey. I forgot what the god for the uh, Apatol place is, uh, but he has a name. Um, but anyway, I guess I'll just uh, go ahead and support the goblins for the bandos. Uh, but anyway, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you found it very, very useful, then uh, like us and subscribe to us for future videos. And uh, anyway, so I guess I'll see you guys later, and uh, happy skilling.